We've we'll been joined now on the phone by Sharon Osborne, who uh, actually I think was a uh, talk TV presenter, of course, was actually at the Albert Hall uh, yesterday where Jeff Beck was playing and knows Johnny Depp. Sharon, uh, what do you make of the verdict? Um, wow. It wasn't what I was expecting. I mean, I wanted Johnny to win, but I wasn't expecting him to. You've been in a... So, um... I was going to say, Sharon, I mean, I've known you and Ozzy a long time. You've spoken very honestly before about toxic times in your marriage over the years, mutually abusive and so on. What did you make of the case here? What did you make of both sides? Did, you, did, you, did any of it resonate with you that it was just a toxic relationship and that unlike you and Ozzy, who did resolve yeah. everything, they, they, they couldn't? It's, uh, for me, it was um, I related to it so much and you know I I know alcoholic behavior inside out and backwards and it's alcoholic behavior but you know they were both abusive both very very abusive mm -hmm. to each other and at any time she could have left and she wasn't a little wallflower you know she was a mover and shaker in town I mean look who she went with right after him so she wasn't some innocent little wallflower. She knows the game. She knows yeah. how it goes. And the situation is, you know, now, I mean, after listening and hearing about all their dirty laundry, you know, she, I, some of me, as a woman, I feel badly for her because every penny she earns is going to go someplace not in her bank account. Right. So I mean, this is, I mean, this is not an insignificant... Struggle. I mean, this is $15 million. I'm not even sure that she has money and like remember, that. And remember, remember, she's got to pay the tax on that too, so double it. Right. I mean, this is, it's, a huge, so, it's a huge disaster for her, isn't it? Um, in terms of Johnny Depp... A huge, huge... And, and, and Sharon, do you think Johnny on. Depp, with, with your manager hat on, is there a way back now for Johnny Depp? If he'd lost this, I think his Hollywood career was done. But has he been so damaged in the process of not just this case, but the libel action against the Sun here in England, which he lost, of course, has he been so damaged by the revelations that it's almost impossible now to put him back in a big movie? No, it's not impossible. And everybody loves a comeback. And the thing is, this his case before was in England. This was done in front of an American jury. And I think that he's going to get his career back. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I I'm really sure. do. I think, you know, I think that all, all the great big filmmakers will want Johnny because now they've seen, listen, when it comes down to it, it's how strong an audience do you have? Yeah. And Johnny Depp has a huge worldwide audience. And, and there's the no doubt is, also, Sharon, that he. Business. There's no doubt that he won in the court of public opinion on social media was massively in favour of Johnny Depp. Now, some course, might argue that he got, every... it got, it got very vicious towards Amber Heard, and I'm not sure that that is ever a good thing. In fact, Monica Lewinsky has written a big piece for Vanity Fair tonight talking about this turning into kind of courtroom porn but, where we're all gorging on the entrails yeah, of this you... divorce. But you know, there's always people out there that want to be vicious about people they don't even know. Yeah. It's perception, not reality. And, you know, you're always going to get your haters that come out and want to have a voice. But the thing is, Johnny, has, you know, he's got a huge price on his head. The world loves him. Yeah. The world loves him. So, you know, the world really did want him to win. And he's won, and that's it. She could have, she could have, you know backed out somehow, she could have got to him. There could have been something to save this going on. They could have. Because he is, he would have... She wouldn't have gone this far if she, if she, you know, didn't push and push and push. And she won the case in England, but yet she wanted more. She well, yeah, wanted I mean, technically, to destroy him. Technically, she wasn't involved in that England case. It, he sued the son for libel and lost, but she was the kind of secondary winner because they concluded that he had abused her. This is a big, big case in exactly. America. Exactly. So, yeah. I mean, I think... The, I mean, the other thing about this... Was, I was going to say, Sharon, the other thing about this is that, you know, for Amber Heard, she's an actress, but I don't think she's going to get any work after this, is she? Because the, the jury actually concluded she that she acted no. with malice. In other words, she that she has deliberately <laughs> lied here about him.
to damage him. Listen, she's lied. She was in the court in England and she lied under oath in England when she said that she'd given her seven million to charity and she hadn't. Yeah. And Elon Musk had made a donation under her name mm. of a pittance of what it should have been. So she lied under oath. Yeah. So that wasn't looking good for her. And, and the thing is, no, I don't think that any big film studio will touch her right now. Just finally, Sharon, you know Johnny. Her, you, you know Johnny Depp, Sharon. Um, you know a lot of people that, whose opinion I respect. You know Joan Collins and Catherine Jenkins, a singer whose husband made Johnny's last movie. They talked very highly of him and believed that he was a, a victim of a miscarriage of justice throughout all this process. And tonight, I'm sure, are feeling very happy for him. But for those who don't know Johnny Depp, what, what is he like? He's, he is a gentle soul. I can tell you, last night, Piers, he spent about 45 minutes in his dressing room on his knees talking to this little girl that was reading her diary to him. Now, I don't know many guys that would sit there and do that. There weren't any cameras around. There were no film crews. He did it because he's a gentle soul. He wanted this little girl to read the diary to him, and she did. She must have been all of eight years of, her, of age. And the thing is, he is a gentle soul, but we know what alcohol and drugs do. When you mix them together, they change you. Mm. So, yeah, like, you know, yeah. sometimes I suppose, you know, he lost his rag. But as a human being, he's a good human being. Sharon, really appreciate you calling in. Uh, thank you very much indeed. It's, it's a dramatic night, certainly, uh, for all the people involved in this. And you bring a great perspective. Thank you very much. All right. Thanks, my darling. Bye.